Amplope Gorokoto Guru Congratulations This apparently is the time to interact with the gods and ancestors Ah city in Jani Lonke Namplange Magadime Senas Welcome you all It's a happy day it's a bit exciting very informative very educational empowering and revealing uh we believe and trust that you have benefited so we look at four critical highlights if you have to forget everything these four critical highlights must remain with you until the day you breathe the last there is no way we can emphasize this you need to understand this and accept are uh, these affects who and what is god that has been defined and we have got a book that deals with that but we want to quickly summarize and say the creator who is now called god is not a spirit or a being therefore anyone who comes today and teaches you about a spirit and then says that's god they are teaching you of a created entity of a divinity that's not it anyone who comes and tells you that god is a being or it looks like you and me and the reference is a certain scripture or a certain reading from a certain book or a holy book or so called holy book he's misleading you and is not telling you the truth you are not god yourself we taught that in sometimes yes we still emphasize that there is a context in which you can say that but if you have no certain paradigms in terms of understanding this kind of knowledge you are always telling a lie subterfuge if you say you are god or if you say you are teaching about god you will either be teaching about a deity an idol an entity because the creator created everything has no gender did not come to earth and die did not raise any messenger or prophet remember that the people that deal with this force we are talking about are neither prophets nor messengers because there is already a system that we know and this divinity we are talking about is inside you that's why you are breathing that's why you are alive you've got a soul so who and what is god that is completely different from what you would understand as a christian as a muslim as a jew as a buddhist or anybody the only people that understand this are the original people that were the first to be put on the earth to to understand this so the creator that we talk about is not a spirit or a being there is a chasm between us and the creator all we deal with all this we say god is this are uh, the angel uh on the so forth are uh, spirits created the spirits impersonalized dead or living dead who are our ancestors or activated or aroused ancestors and there are intermediaries between these entities and uh, all the powers the netas the cause the divinities are here and are at the top hierarchy and there is a realm of humanity and other things so the four critical highlights the first one is who and what is god i've gone into details and i've explained it into the best uh details that i can explain to offer a clear methodological observation that one can employ to look at this question and be able to answer in your personal capacity you can write it down you can draw images and diagrams you can start you can listen to all our videos at the end of the day the four critical highlights really emphasize and show you how you can be able to start your journey of understanding the creator about god you understand you can look at the picture you can see him crucified you can hear about him under different names so number two, the basic fundamental is that the philosophy about our existence as a moon to is we are riding and using a melanin dominant beast which is the black body or the moon to or the bantu it has totems that is critical so number two, it is you are living in a totemic animal an animal with two totems your maternal and paternal 
and the totems are the energy system that surrounds your body or where you are dwelling that's your totem if you do not understand the energy system that is you the primary or archetype or fundamental energy system inside you is your totem some are putting tattoos some get titles and get excited about titles that they were given whether they went to university acquired degrees and masters and doctorates and they are professionals like an engineer diesel plant fitter heavy diesel mechanic electronics engineer electrical engineer that is the identity you are given of the skills that you have but you have your own body totem which is your energy pattern and you have to separate these two energies you have to understand that we also must understand that we are in the universe built on a totally different primary foundation involving atoms splitting them into particles of called atema or dark energy that's where we are in this universe at this point in time so that's number two so number one who and what is god number two you are living in a totemized body or beast or animal that's why you see the images in ancient hermet the human body and an animal those are totemic they were telling us that you crossed the line of pure divinity you cross the line of year and through your parents your mother and father you came to dwell in the world of humanity and when you die again you are going to get the same forces and you come into this to dwell here with the living dead where you are judged and then either you become a spirit and you might have to come back again as a soul so number three we subscribe to a remote creator who is nameless and not a spirit or a being so after you have understood who and what is god from all the explanations that we have done you are not left in a vacuum you are left with the understanding and the philosophy of a spirit and a being yes but beyond that you are left with the nameless creator who is not an entity who is beyond the spirit and a being and the last but not least we deal with when we die we will be judged based on our works our works are the ubuntu or mahati laws so these are the four critical highlights they are very important because they are the only steps at this point in time that give you the steps of afro salvation i don't care what others teach i don't care what other religions say but as a muntu as a bantu you've got your only way of salvation it is not what christianity teaches christianity teaches something else judaism teaches something else islam teaches something else buddhism something else but what we are teaching you correlates with your identity of being a muntu a member of the bantu race now let's look at afro salvation steps how we can go back to our own personal salvation as well as group sal uh, salvation restoring bantu indigenous spirituality on a personal level those are the first steps so how do you do that by re-educating yourself by activating your totems and by studying ubuntu wisdom philosophy which is the highest level of our education where we study our philosophies you must know your ancestry you must select and know your family tree build your family tree to the best of your abilities know your grandfathers from both sides from your mother's side and your father's side know what they did know the good things they did the bad things they do select those ancestors that you love and start to talk to them and the poor libations regularly interact with the divinities beginning today so on pouring libation you must also understand that you must eat your food that goes along with you once you know your totems you know the food that you eat the drinks that you drink the fruits that you should eat and how you engage with all that so you must interact with the divinities beginning today we have demonstrated and shown how you can do that support organizations that are rebuilding our ancient spirit machine and are using methodologies whose creed revive bantu or afrocentric salvation and eventually empowers members with knowledgeable powerful systems that's how you can go back 
So you have to financially and materially support such organizations like Hamiti Ibru Ethics Marifado Hem. Visit our website. It shows you how you can support us financially and materially. There are many people that are doing that. We want to thank you so much and say may the ancestors and the divinities walk with you, bless you, and may you live above the stars and live forever like the stars. We, we know that once you give a financial and material support to such organizations, you are generating the revival for our race and empowering the next generation. In our many years of research, we have discovered that black intelligence is the most feared component by the powers that are in the world today. Unfortunately, this is the reason why no race is or will be interested in supporting Bantus to be free truly. Therefore, the solution lies within you and me, as well as those that you know. So we are our own civilizers, we are our own liberators. No one is coming to liberate and free us. Hence, it is a must that in practice, you are obligated to share all that you learned in this course without being preachy about it. Teach others until all Bantus are liberated. So we have shown how you can restore your identity, how you can interact with ancestors and divinities, how you can support Bantu networks. And now we are looking at the issues of uh, concluding uh, this very important matter. Sometimes you might be asked, what's your religion? People want to know who you are. All you have to know in your mind is that the person who is asking that need only to know as well as those that you know. So we are our own civili uh, civilizers. We are our own liberators. No one is coming to liberate and free us. Hence, it is a must that in practice, you are obligated to share all that you learned in this course without being preachy about it. Teach others until all Bantus are liberated. So we have shown how you can restore your identity, how you can interact with ancestors and divinities, how you can support Bantu networks. And now we are looking at the issues of uh, concluding uh, this very important matter. Sometimes you might be asked, what's your religion? People want to know who you are. All you have to know in your mind is that the person who is asking that need only to know uh, that uh, you are following something that is powerful and that is identical to your own identity. You are not following Arabic religion or European religion or Indian or Aryan or something. You are following your own ancestral belief system. But on some occasions when you are asked these questions, you must know how you can answer it appropriately. So sometimes a one-word answer is the best. But on other occasions, you may be asked to expand. So if you are asked what's your religion, just tell them kemetics. Now, when you say kemetics, don't say kemetics or anything else. Just say kemetics. That is based on the teachings of African indigenous traditions. So kemetics is our true religion. And Ubuntu Maati, our spirituality. So this, these are two completely different answers that you are giving. If someone asks you what's your spirituality, you will say, you will say Ubuntu Maati is my spirituality. But if someone say what is your religion, you will say Hamitics is my religion. If they say what's Hamitics, you then say Hamitics is the same as African indigenous traditions. I prefer Hamitics, Ubuntu Maati consciousness is the total answer but i find that it is very very complicated it goes beyond what must be answered and if they say oh so what, what, what did you say you we practice ubuntu maati spirituality i think this is very clear it gives a very clear answer we are not jews we are not hebrews we are not israelites we are not a uh, or, uh, or or anything we follow hermetics which gives us ubuntu maati spirituality or ubuntu maati consciousness that's what we follow we got we have our divinities we worship certain powers we deal and interact with the ancestors and the divinities that is emphasized and that is clear for all of us so once more well done thank you this committee iburu ethics marifado came ho 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 heaven light ho 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 heaven light Ho, ho, ho. Heaven light.
Oh, 